I'm going to show you how to wrap a ring frame. This is to prevent fabric from slipping between the wooden hoops. The first thing I'm going to do is have some bias binding or calico cut on the bias. This is when it's been cut diagonally. Firstly, we need double-sided sticky tape. I'm gonna just cut a small bit there. We can remove this outer hoop. Now, you can just place the double-sided sticky tape on the inside by the plastic hinge here. So, we're gonna keep it all wrapped up, which means it's easier for you to wrap around. And start by just sticking the calico there on a very slight angle outwards. Okay, then all you do is simply wrap around, giving it a bit of an angle so you know you're not making it too bulky. And making sure as you go, you've got quite a nice tension. Now we've joined two pieces together so we have a seam there. If you do run out, you can just keep adding. For fabrics such as organza or anything really silky, you really need to do this with your frames, otherwise they will slacken off all the time. And for most embroideries, you do need to have very tight fabric when you're working. Now, the point is you don't want to have any real wood showing, so just ensure that your calico or bias binding is covering over the last lap. So we're just getting near the end now. Keeping that tension on it. Okay, so now you've got to the end, you can just wrap that loose end around and give it a little fold over, a little tuck and come over. Now the best thing to do is use buttonhole thread, which we've got here. This is nice and strong and a curved needle if possible. This just makes it easier for you to do the uh, stitch. So but making the knot at the end, we're going to do a herringbone stitch here over the flap of the fabric. So bringing your knot down on the top. going to catch it quickly through both layers. So in bone stitch, you needle the fa it faces backwards, but you're going forwards. So you must always think about that. Okay, just a few more. You don't need to do too many. Just simply to secure that flap down. Okay, and one more. And you can finish that by just doing three stab stitches. So that's three small st um, stitches next to each other. Which means you can cut the tail right off and not have any flaps of thread of getting in the way. Okay, so that's your herringbone stitch done. Just cut off that tail there. So that's all there is to it. You don't need to add any more stitches to the beginning because the sticky tape there is holding it in place. All you would do now is wrap your outer frame exactly the same way and then you're going to guarantee that none of your fabric will slip in your hoop frame. Mm -hmm.